and paying a little more to fly more sustainably. From 2026, all flights departing from Singapore will have to include some sustainable aviation fuel in their engines. The country has set an initial target of 1% and hopes to increase this to at least 3% by 2030. And travellers will pay a levy to support airlines' use of greener fuels. Lauren Ong has more. A small fee for a big impact. Passengers flying out of Singapore will pay a little more to help airlines use environmentally sustainable jet fuel. It's part of larger plans to help the country decarbonize its aviation sector. There's a certain amount of carbon emissions that need to be cut for Singapore's aviation sector to achieve net zero by 2050. Sustainable aviation fuel can help reduce about two-thirds of that. But supply for the jet fuel is scarce and prices can be volatile. To make sure airlines don't pass on these volatile prices to passengers, Singapore will impose a levy at a fixed amount. Authorities estimate an economy class flight to Bangkok could cost $3 more, no matter the airline, $6 more for a flight to Tokyo and a $16 hike for London. The Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore will use these fees to purchase the fuel in bulk and allocate it to airlines in a centralized process. Transport Minister Chi Hong Tat says getting airlines to work toward 1% is manageable. A target also tells sustainable fuel producers how much to make. This will provide an important demand signal to fuel producers and give them the incentive to invest in new SAF production facilities. Without an increase in supply, we will not be able to scale up the adoption of SAF in the years ahead. An expert says this process will eventually help prices settle down. The hope is that uh, as uh, volumes increase, uh, the price will come down. But I don't expect that to happen very soon. It will be a process of many years. Um, you may see that in the 2030s. Meantime, he says passengers should still buckle up for higher airfares as more around the world go green.